They look ordinary, rough, ugly. The kind of rocks most people would kick aside without a second glance. But what if I told you that inside these dull and lifeless stones could be one of the Earth's purest treasures? Gold? It sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? Yet for centuries, nature has hidden gold in the most unexpected forms. Not in glittering nuggets lying openly in streams, but deep inside rocks that seem completely worthless. Today, we're not just talking theory. We're going to uncover a natural process, one that doesn't require chemicals, mercury, or fancy machines, but instead uses what nature itself provides. Fire, water, and patience. This is how you find gold in rocks that everyone else ignores. This is where it begins, with the search. When you start looking for gold in nature, you must unlearn everything you think you know about beauty. Gold doesn't always hide inside beautiful, shining quartz crystals. In fact, many of the richest deposits are concealed within rocks that appear dull, rust-colored, even broken. You see, the Earth's crust tells stories, and those stories are written in color, texture, and formation. Look for rocks with iron staining, those deep red and brown patches caused by oxidized minerals. They might look like rusted scrap metal, but that's exactly what you want. Iron oxides and sulfides often indicate hydrothermal activity, the same process that once brought molten gold up from deep underground veins. If you see tiny metallic sparkles, but they don't look like glittering gold, don't walk away yet. Many of these flecks are pyrite or arsenopyrite, minerals that form alongside gold. These are the clues, the whispers from the earth that tell you gold might be near. Once you collect a few candidate rocks, iron stones quartz with rusty veins, or dense black and brown stones with weight, the next step begins. It's time to reveal what's hidden inside. For thousands of years before modern refineries and chemicals, prospectors used fire to separate the worthless from the valuable. Fire in its purest form doesn't destroy gold, it reveals it. When you heat a rock, something remarkable happens, thermal expansion. Each mineral inside that rock expands at a slightly different rate when exposed to high temperatures. That means under the heat, the internal bonds start to weaken. Tiny fractures form. The rock begins to loosen its grip on whatever's trapped within, including gold. Now this process isn't about melting gold. It's about breaking the prison that holds it. You don't need industrial furnaces. Even a simple controlled fire, fueled by charcoal or dry wood, can create enough heat to fracture softer mineral bonds. The key is patience. Let the fire do its work slowly. Rushing it might cause the rock to burst unevenly, wasting both material and effort. But when the heat has done its job, you'll notice a subtle change. The surface dulls, the rock looks tired, as if it's about to tell its secret. And that's when you introduce nature's second element. When the red-hot rock meets cold water, nature performs one of its most powerful transformations. The sudden temperature change causes thermal shock. The rock cracks open from within. You'll hear it, small pops and cracks as the water penetrates the fractures, widening them. This isn't just a satisfying sound. It's the sound of progress. The rock is breaking apart, layer by layer, exposing its inner matrix where gold might be trapped. Now, as you lift those cooled rocks, you'll notice they feel lighter. Some have split cleanly, others crumble between your fingers. That's when the real revealing begins. What was once solid stone now breaks easily. Inside, you'll notice veins, metallic threads, or dull patches, all of which could indicate gold. Crushing doesn't mean pulverizing everything into dust. It's a methodical process. The goal is to reduce the rock into smaller pieces until you can examine what lies within. And sometimes you'll see it. That faint, buttery glimmer that refuses to tarnish, no matter how much you rub it. That's not pyrite. That's gold. When gold forms in nature, it bonds with quartz, sulfides, or iron-rich minerals. The heat and cooling process 
frees it from its original bonds. What you're doing now, crushing, is simply helping the earth finish what it started millions of years ago. Each tap, each crack, brings you closer to what prospectors once called the mother's gift. But there's one more step, the separation, and it doesn't need any chemicals, just clever observation and patience. Gold is one of the heaviest elements found in nature. That simple truth can be your biggest advantage. Take your crushed material and place it in a shallow pan or a wide container filled with clean water. Gently swirl it. Don't rush. The lighter materials, sand, dust, and rock, will float or move to the top. But the heavier particles, including any gold, will stay stubbornly at the bottom. This natural principle of gravity separation is the foundation of panning. It's how ancient civilizations discovered gold long before chemistry existed. As you tilt the container slightly and let water wash away the light debris, what remains might surprise you. Tiny golden fragments, specks, or even flakes glinting in the sunlight. Each one tells a story older than humanity itself. For most people, rocks are lifeless. But for those who understand the Earth's language, every fracture, color, and shimmer is a clue. You've just transformed what appeared to be worthless stone into something extraordinary, using nothing but natural forces, fire, water, and gravity. The process might seem simple, but it's one of the oldest forms of natural gold liberation on record. It's proof that you don't always need chemicals or machines to work with nature. Sometimes all you need is understanding. And here's the secret most overlook. The real value isn't just in the gold you find, but in learning how nature conceals and reveals its riches. That knowledge is what separates a casual explorer from a true prospector. You didn't just extract gold today, you uncovered a truth that's been buried for centuries. The Earth always hides its best treasures behind layers of patience and persistence. This is EGS Pro, where nature's secrets meet modern discovery. If you've learned something new today, subscribe and stay with us, because next time we'll go even deeper into the places where gold hides silently waiting for those who can see beyond the surface.